Salutations gaming enthusiasts, welcome back to another episode of Mario Books. Today we're going to be looking at my Luigi story. Uh, by the way, I am a bit ill, so that's why my voice sounds low and bad. Here we have the cover, Luigi with a gehost and uh, background, I think. It looks like I tried to write something in the ground area over here. I'm not sure what it was, I can't make it out, oh well. Anyway, it's scribbled out now, but let's have a look in the story. I've decided, like, I remember the first one very well. I remember, like, maybe one or two of the other ones rather well as well. But I don't, like, I've got, like, 19 of these, and most of them I do not recall what happened. So I'm hoping to be pleasantly surprised by, like, some funny <laughs> or cute things that happens in these stories. Uh, just as surprise as you. So anyway, this one opens the correct way, so this one isn't manga. <laughs> oh yes, this one is sort of Luigi's Mansion themed, and I hadn't played Luigi's Mansion. I think I might played it, like, once at my second cousin's house, and I sort of assumed how it ended was, like, Luigi just saved Mario and then left. So here we have Luigi going back to the mansion. I didn't realize that it would disappear or become a nicer mansion. Also, I did not do Luigi's overalls very well. He has green trousers here. <laughs> what the heck is going on? Look, there's the circles from the buttons where I'm like, oh wait, no, this is Luigi's back. This doesn't make sense. Uh, just color over them. <laughs> when Mario uh, dared did Luigi, dared Luigi to go back in the haunted mansion and get at least one ghost. This is what happened. Good to know. First he had to get another Poltergust 4000. Did I just guess what number it was? I don't know. From Dr. E. Gad. <laughs> Look, I didn't even bother giving him a little hill to stand on. He's just, he's just straight up floating. <laughs> I guess maybe I assumed that he, he lost his Poltergeist 3000? I don't know. I don't know why he's getting another one, really. When Luigi went in, he saw the ghost he was going to get. Meh. <laughs> yeah, I really do Luigi's overalls wrong every single time. He was so ner nervous that he didn't get the ghost, and it chased him. <laughs> uh, where did the vacuum cleaner go? Where's the back of it as well? I, I just keep forgetting to draw it, I suppose. Ooh, careful, these, these pages are not uh, stapled together or anything. Luigi stormed over to Mario and Egad, and... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I forgot to draw both of their mustaches in this picture. Uh, oh, but Mario's overalls look more right. Why? Why does Mario's overalls look right? Taped up Mario. Oh, wow, this is, this is nice. Luigi gets revenge on Mario for beating him to a pulp after just playing the drums. <laughs> I didn't even bother drawing the ground on these panels either. Like, maybe I thought, eh, this'll be easy. I just don't do any floor or background. That doesn't matter if Egad is floating. <laughs> Look at this little egad. Look at this. Look at this little gad. He's he's sad. That'll shut him up for a few uh, min uh, uh, minutes. That's minutes. That'll shut him up for a few minutes. <laughs> also, his his overalls are inverse now. The straps are red and the shirt is blue. Oh dear. Oh George, you got it wrong lots of times. And that's Luigi's story. Luigi tried to go and vacuum up a ghost uh, under Mario's dare. Mario laughed at him, and then Luigi, like, put tape over his mouth, I guess. <laughs> like, these these are, are nightmare eyes. What the heck? <laughs> I also didn't color in his skin like I did with the other characters. <laughs> He's, this is this is kind of terrifying, actually. This looks like a creepy pasta Mario. But yes, that's the second book. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I think I started to try and like write, like draw, like all of the like other books on the back at the start. So I obviously started doing these on the back of this. M Mario doesn't have a mustache again. <laughs> oh, but I like this Luigi. This Luigi is very cute. Uh, but I gave up, obviously, on drawing them on the back because it doesn't really have a point. Who am I advertising this to, anyway? And then there's this. What is... What is this thing? Give, give me your best guess as to what this thing that I crossed out is on the back, because I'm confused. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe for the rest. I've got a bunch more of these little books that I drew when I was a kid. Until next time, farewell, everyone.